Beneath the calm surface of the Baltic Sea, one of the most ambitious engineering feats in European history is quietly taking shape. Stretching 18 kilometers between Denmark and Germany, the Fehmarn Belt Tunnel will soon become the world's longest immersed tunnel. But this isn't just a marvel of concrete and steel. It's a bold leap toward a more connected, efficient, and sustainable Europe. Imagine driving from Copenhagen to Hamburg in just 2.5 hours, or watching freight trains glide beneath the sea where ferries once ruled. What does it take to build a superhighway under the ocean? And why are two nations investing billions to make it happen? Behind the scenes lies a story of vision, political grit, environmental controversy, and cutting-edge innovation. A story that's reshaping the future of European infrastructure. In today's video, we're diving deep into the Femarn Belt Tunnel, exploring its origins, engineering breakthroughs, construction progress, and the game-changing impact it's destined to have. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. The idea of a fixed link across the Feymarn Belt dates back decades. The belt is a strait in the Baltic Sea, approximately 18 kilometers or 11 miles wide, separating the Danish island of Lowland from the German island of Feymarn. Historically, the connection between the two countries was maintained by a ferry service operating between Rodby in Denmark and Puttgarden in Germany, a route that has existed since the 1960s. Although relatively efficient, ferry transport has limitations in terms of speed, capacity, and environmental impact. The dream of a fixed link emerged during the late 20th century, spurred by growing economic cooperation between Denmark and Germany as well as the broader European integration process. The idea gained serious traction in the early 2000s when studies showed that a direct connection could significantly enhance trade, tourism, and labor mobility across the region. In 2008, Denmark and Germany signed a treaty to move forward with the project, signaling the start of a long journey of planning, negotiations, and environmental assessments. The Feymarn Belt Tunnel is a marvel of civil engineering. Rather than a board tunnel, like the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France, the Feymarn Belt Link will be an immersed tunnel. This design involves constructing tunnel segments on land, then submerging and assembling them in a dredged trench on the seabed. The tunnel will consist of a total of 90 massive precast concrete elements, each measuring about 217 meters long, 42 meters wide and 9 meters high. These sections will be fabricated in a specially built production facility. This factory is the world's largest tunnel making facility and combined with the work harbor covers an area of 220 hectares, the size of over 300 soccer pitches. Three cavernous construction halls containing six production lines are currently working around the clock producing one 217-meter concrete element every nine weeks. Once built, they will be floated out and sunk into a trench dredged in the seabed, then sealed together to form a continuous tunnel. The finished structure will house two double-lane motorways and two electrified railway tracks, separated by a central service gallery for maintenance and emergencies. The design ensures that the tunnel can handle both freight and passenger traffic efficiently and safely, with sophisticated ventilation, lighting, drainage, and emergency response systems integrated into the infrastructure. The project is overseen by Famern AS, a subsidiary of the Danish state-owned Sund and Belt Holding. The estimated cost of the tunnel is around 7.1 billion euros or 7.7 .7 billion US dollars making it one of Europe's most expensive infrastructure endeavors. Denmark is primarily responsible for financing the construction of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel and secures funding through state-guaranteed loans. Although construction began officially in 2020, actual work on land preparation and dredging started in earnest in 2021, following years of environmental review and legal challenges. The construction process involves several key phases, First, the seabed must be dredged to create a trench deep enough to house the tunnel elements. This requires the removal of millions of cubic meters of material, 
a task undertaken with giant dredgers and barges. Once the trench is ready, tunnel elements are floated out from the production facility, towed into position, and submerged into place with pinpoint precision using cranes and ballast systems. Each segment is carefully aligned and sealed using rubber gaskets and special waterproofing techniques. Once joined, the interior of the tunnel is fitted out with tracks, roadways, ventilation ducts, and electrical systems. Work is being done simultaneously on both the Danish and German sides to meet the projected completion date around 2029. Building an immersed tunnel across the Feymarn belt is fraught with technical difficulties. The harsh marine environment, combined with the scale of the project, poses significant logistical and engineering challenges. One of the most complex aspects is the precise placement and sealing of tunnel elements on the seabed. Any misalignment can result in water ingress or structural instability. Furthermore, the tunnel must be designed to withstand various stresses, including thermal expansion, underwater pressure, seismic activity, and ship impacts. Advanced simulation models, physical testing, and high-strength materials are employed to ensure safety and durability. Another major challenge is the coordination of simultaneous work streams across international borders. Aligning standards, labor practices, and construction schedules between Denmark and Germany requires close cooperation and strong project management. Despite its challenges, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel is pushing the boundaries of what's possible in tunnel construction. The use of factory-fabricated tunnel segments represents a significant innovation, allowing for higher quality control, faster assembly, and reduced environmental impact compared to traditional boring methods. Digital tools, including building information modeling, are being used extensively to coordinate every aspect of the construction process. BIM allows engineers, architects, and project managers to work off a shared 3D model of the tunnel, integrating data on materials, timing, logistics, and costs. Automation and robotics are also playing a role, particularly in segment fabrication and inspection processes. These technologies not only improve efficiency, but also enhance worker safety by reducing the need for human labor in hazardous environments. The Femarn Belt Tunnel is often compared to other large-scale infrastructure projects, such as the Orison Bridge connecting Denmark and Sweden, and the Channel Tunnel between the UK and France. Each of these projects has transformed regional connectivity, but the Femarn Belt Tunnel is unique in both its construction method and environmental context. Unlike the Orison Bridge, which combines a bridge and a tunnel, or the Channel Tunnel, which is bored through bedrock, the Feymarn Belt Link is fully immersed and constructed in segments. This method is faster and less expensive in shallow marine areas, but requires a higher degree of precision. From a geopolitical standpoint, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel can be seen as a continuation of the trend toward greater European integration through physical infrastructure. It is not just a Danish-German project, but a symbol of cross-border cooperation and the European Union's commitment to seamless mobility. The economic implications of the Feymarn Belt Tunnel are immense. By replacing the ferry connection, the tunnel will slash travel time significantly. A car trip that once took about 45 minutes by ferry, not including waiting times, will now take roughly 10 minutes through the tunnel. Train journeys between Hamburg and Copenhagen will be reduced by around two hours, making rail transport more competitive with air travel. This dramatic increase in speed and efficiency is expected to boost trade between Denmark, Germany, and the broader European market. The tunnel is part of the Trans-European Transport Network, a series of EU-backed projects aimed at enhancing continental connectivity. The regions around the tunnel, including Lowland in Denmark and Schleswig-Holstein in Germany, stand to benefit from increased investment, job creation, and infrastructure development. The project is also expected to stimulate tourism by making travel more seamless for both domestic and international visitors. As of now, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel project has achieved several significant milestones, 
marking substantial progress toward its anticipated completion in 2029. In February 2025, the first two massive tunnel elements, each weighing approximately 73,500 tons, were successfully floated from the production facility in Radbihavn, Denmark, to a lower basin in preparation for immersion. This operation required meticulous planning and coordination among various teams. Meanwhile, the dredging of the tunnel trench has also been completed, resulting in the removal of nearly 15 million cubic meters of soil, stone, and sand. These materials are being repurposed to create approximately 300 hectares of new natural and recreational areas near Rodbyhaven. On both the Danish and German sides, the initial segments of the tunnel portals have been constructed. These portals connect the immersed tunnel to the land-based motorway and railway networks. Notably, the northernmost part of the portal at Puttgard in Germany was successfully flooded in September 2024, marking a critical step in the project's progression. Looking ahead, the project remains on track for the immersion of the next tunnel element into the Feymarn belt later this year. This upcoming phase will represent a pivotal moment in the construction process, bringing the vision of a fixed link between Denmark and Germany closer to reality. When completed, the Fay Marne Belt Tunnel will stand as a historic achievement in civil engineering and international collaboration. Its legacy will extend far beyond the immediate region, shaping transport patterns, economic flows, and environmental policy across Europe. One of the most promising aspects of the tunnel is its role in promoting sustainable transport. By shifting freight and passengers from road and air to rail, the tunnel could help reduce carbon emissions and support the EU's climate goals. The tunnel is also expected to set new standards for infrastructure design, construction management, and stakeholder engagement. Lessons learned from the Feymarn Belt project will likely inform future megaprojects in both developed and emerging markets. While the road to completion has been fraught with difficulties, the tunnel's promise of faster travel, stronger economies, and greener transport represents a bold step forward in European infrastructure. Once opened, the Feymarn Belt Tunnel will not only connect two shores, but also bring people, businesses, and nations closer together in a meaningful and lasting way.